Hi and welcome back to my Alan Bradley PLC test bench. Today we're going to be testing 1771 OA and 1771 OD. Now these are the older cards and they've got Triac outputs in them. Alan Bradley has used Triac outputs ever since day one. Now one of the problems that everybody knows about with Triac outputs is leakage and we're going to show that quite well using a couple of LEDs. Um, everybody's gone away from the incandescent bulb to LEDs, but if you don't have the right LED bulb with a pull-down resistor circuit built into it, then you get what you're going to see here in a minute. Your bulb always looks like it's on. Now I've got it all wired up, ready to go. I've got a couple of uh, test lights, 130 volt and 20 and 6 volt. Uh, the 24 volt bulbs and 24 volt outputs, there's no problem really. There's never been an issue with leakage on DC. It's only with AC. So we'll reposition here and we'll come back to this in a second. Okay, we're back. So here's the setup. We've got a 1771 OAD card here. Now it's, I believe, a Series C. This is a 1771 OD, 6 channel isolated output, and the 1771 OA, which is the original 8 point 120 volt output. Now, these are tied, the, hundred and, the OD is tied to the, our red LED, and the OA tied to our white LED. And then this card here is all tied to these guys. So, power is on for these guys and you can see how they go on and off very nicely. Now these bulbs have the built-in triac pull-down circuit in them which is basically just a 2.5k resistor. I think there's also some of the manufacturers have done little blocking circuits and that sort of stuff so you can doesn't matter which way you've got them wired. Now if we turn on the power to our two cards here and you can see how the LEDs come on but the outputs are not on. Turn the outputs on and you can see how they flash on and off but they don't go off. They only go dim. And again that is because there is no pull down triac circuit in, in there for the triac. Now the Allen Bradley specs say put a 2.5K 10 watt resistor between neutral and your output. So if we take this 2.5K resistor, uh, and this is a, an ohmite resistor in a very nice package, and you go there, you can see on our 6 volt LED on the right hand side how that actually goes off now. We take it off and it just goes dim. We go across the load side of this guy and again on the red LED you can see how that goes on and off. So that's what a triac pull down circuit is. Now if you actually take a voltmeter and measure And it's just your standard ordinary maintenance guys measure from there. To there, it shows 65 volts AC. Neutral to output, it shows 116 volts. But there's not enough current to do anything that's got a, a load on it. So that makes a huge difference depending upon what you've got these tied to. If you've got them onto starter coils and that sort of stuff, not a big deal. So when you're putting your, your stuff together, make sure you use the right components. Like say, these bulbs here, uh, for myself, that manufacturer is no longer in, in existence, so I can't give you their contact info. These, these guys are just off the net 
cheap little dollar and a half things, you're getting what you pay for. So the Allen Bradley ones like this are between Canadian about fifteen dollars, American about you know thirteen, depending upon the exchange. Depending on your operation, it is almost a necessity. Twenty-four volt which are these guys here, 24 volt outputs, DC, has never seemed to have been a problem right from day, the first day that Alan Bradley put out DC outputs. So hopefully that gives you uh, a good idea of why you need to use the right LED in, in your situation and if you have to uh, have something that's not, um, you don't have the right bulb, a resistor like that paralleled to there will give you the same effect you can get smaller resistors to do the same thing um, it's entirely up to you thanks for watching hopefully uh, this is in, with the information you needed and subscribe if you'd like and come back anytime thank you